we have a God who is our provider. Mm. Somebody say provider. We have a God who is our provider. Children of Israel had to deal with the Exodus experience. And the Bible says that when they got delivered after the Exodus experience, they had to wander in the wilderness. They wandered and got hungry and thirsty. And God provided for them everything they needed in their hunger and in their thirst. They're in the wilderness. Ain't no 7-Eleven. Ain't no 5 and Dime. Ain't no K. Roger. Ain't no H-E-B. All they had were the provisions of God and God said you thirsty I got you man and he gave them water out of a rock he said you need some food let me give you some manna and the manna came down from heaven and everything they needed God provided it manna is a beautiful word I love the word in the Hebrew the word literally means what is this <laughs> no. You, you're missing your shout cue. I said that in Hebrew, the word manna literally is interpreted. What is this? It literally suggests that God gives them unexpected blessings, and he gives it in unexpected ways. And every time they turned around, God just kept saying, here. And they kept saying, wow, look at God. Did God do it again? And maybe I can find somebody at Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church who can testify all your blessings didn't come in the usual course of time. All all your blessings didn't come in the way you expected them to come. But every now and then, God blew your mind by giving you unexpected blessings in unexpected ways. Is there anybody who's ever had to say, wow, what is this? Where did this come from? Look at my God again.